Kukana. Welcome to the Cook Islands, where all 15 of the islands are pure paradise. But here on Rarotonga, or Raro, this is the main island, and it really is like one big resort. It is so beautiful. Now, this is actually my fourth visit. I have been welcomed back like a long lost cousin bro. And I can tell you from experience that probably the best way to take it all in is to just hire yourself a little car and get out amongst it. The Cook Islands is the most remote nation in all of the South Pacific. It is as beautiful as Tahiti, but it is half the price. And despite the influx of tourism, it remains relatively unspoiled. Speed limit is pretty slow here in the Cook Islands, so it should take you around about 45 minutes to do the entire loop. And don't worry, it's almost impossible to get lost because there is pretty much only one road. So you'll drive either clockwise or anti-clockwise. And also, this is really a one-finger wave or a shakas kind of town. Definitely no jazz hands. None of this. The big thing to do here in Rarotonga is to head out to the Saturday morning market. This is where it all happens. And my only tip here is to be early. The first thing you need to do is buy yourself a headache. The locals will come in and they buy these for family members that might be arriving from overseas, coming to their home. For me, I just love having the local scent around me all day. Okay, you ready to do some shopping? <laughs> Apart from the fresh produce, the locals will be cooking up a storm and you'll find anything and everything in the way of souvenirs. It is truly a one-stop shop. I know I have to get a black pearl when I'm coming to the Cook Islands. Yes. Where do I start? It's a personal choice. So you look the colour you like, the shape you like, or the price you like. You know, it could be all three. Go with your heart. Go with yeah. your instinct. The pearls take their name from the black-lipped oyster. Now, they're not actually black. They come in all sorts of different colours, ranging from silver to purple, and are only found in Tahiti and here. And when you look at that water, oh, no wonder the oysters are so happy. The Cook Islands is understandably top of honeymooners' lists, but it's also really popular with families, and one place that caters to all is the Pacific Resort. The beautiful Muri Lagoon, which is absolutely perfect for paddleboarding, kayaking, snorkeling, or just chilling out. Oh, look, you've just got to love a restaurant where you don't have to wear shoes and where you can sink your toes into the sand. I love that. Welcome to Rarotonga, darling. Here we go. Thank you. Enjoy. The jungle-like resort gardens give some much-needed shade and screening to the rooms. The family-style villas are decorated in a Polynesian style. The standard rooms are also spacious with a separate lounge area as well, I love that. The kids club activities will keep the little darlings entertained for hours as practice makes perfect. However, I think that the big draw card is the resort's prime location on Muri Lagoon with direct access to all the activities on offer. I learned a new term today, supping. Have you ever heard of that before? It's called stand-up paddleboarding. I have done it once before, and I wouldn't say I'm the worst in the world. Top 10 may be, though, so wish me luck, because I've watched every night people go supping out here on the lagoon at night. Let's do it. Ariki Adventures had the boards specially made with the LED lights built into them and they were the first to introduce night supping to the South Pacific. Are most people like me where they find this quite thrilling? It's a new experience for, for most people, not just paddling but like being out at night on the, on the water. I tell you what Jules, I think I'm going to try this at home. Yeah, I think you should. I'm looking for a photo. I'll send you one. <laughs> 